everyone. My name is Jesse Houghton, and I'm a product manager on Visual Studio, working on the Git tooling and version control integration. We've been putting a lot of effort into building up the pull request experience for both authors and reviewers. I wanted to share a roundup of all of the features that we've put into Visual Studio to really smooth out your workflow. The magic really happens when I switch branches to a branch that has an active pull request. So if we wait for a sec, you'll notice there's an info bar. There's now a pull request drop-down menu as well. And these are all entry points into turning on the ability to show comments in files. So as the author, when I can show comments in files, that means I get all of my colleagues' reviews directly into the place where I want to be making changes to my code. So I don't have to map between my experience in Visual Studio or the web experience. I have it all put together right here. And I even get the Copilot pull request reviewer. If you've got that working in uh, public preview right now for GitHub Copilot on the web, then you'll see those comments in here as well. So I can navigate between these comments and I can change the state just like I would if I were working in the web, but it's so much more integrated and smooth because I have it right here in my IDE. As the reviewer, I might wanna have a really detailed review, and this would require me checking out the branch and running some tests, proposing some changes. These are all things that you can't really do in the web experience today. And that's what we heard from users is that we needed a better way to allow reviewers to dig deep into a review by checking out that branch and then by adding comments directly into the running code. So I can add comments on any lines that are part of my pull request uh, or related depending on what my Git hosting provider is. And all you do is just go into the margin and figure out what line you wanna comment on or you can right click and click on Git and then go to add comment here. You can also navigate between your comments and the different pull request files. So this just really streamlines the flow of working with pull requests and getting really deep, um, great feedback from my colleagues. To make sure that all of this is working in your version of Visual Studio, you'll wanna turn on a couple feature flags. So if we go to options, in your preview features settings, if I, scope down to just the pull request ones, you wanna have both this pull request comments and pull request add comment features turned on. If you're in a newer version of Visual Studio than 17.13, you might only have one of these checkboxes. So you'll just wanna make sure that you have everything enabled and then you'll get that info bar that we saw and you'll also have this entry point where you can show comments and files or you can go up to the top level menu, go to Git, go to GitHub, or it could say Azure DevOps if that's what you're signed in with. And then you can click on show comments and files and it's a toggle. So if you ever feel like you wanna get that out of your way and really focus on making some code changes, you can always turn that off and you won't get the comments in line that could be potentially disruptive. We added so many of these little features little by little. And so I was really excited to do a roundup of all of the features that we have to make your pull request experience nice and smooth. Let us know what you think in the comments below and look out for even more improvements. We really wanna hear from you to make sure this is the best product it can be. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.